Hello, if I was gonna ask you, what causes a person to be sick? And you might say, well, germs or a virus or a bacteria or some other type of bug in the body, uh, you would say, causes the person to be sick. And you know what? I wouldn't agree with you 100% on that. And you're gonna say, well, what's the reasoning? Well, because the germ has to have a susceptible person to get sick, meaning if the person's not healthy, their immune system is not going to be able to fight them off. So a strong immune system uh, is going, or a weak immune system plus a germ is going to cause a person to be sick. Well, there's germs all around us. There's viruses floating in the air, bacteria on surfaces, and we can scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub. And that actually has an opposite effect because now our immune system doesn't get exposure and our nerve, our immune system cannot actually develop against those two. Hey, I am Dr. Randy Words in Thrive Chiropractic. I am a pediatric chiropractor and this is how I was introduced to chiropractic at a young age of eight is when I was sick and had my very first adjustment and felt amazing afterwards. So we're gonna to talk today about, you know, why do people get sick? Because you can have children who are in the classroom and it seems like one kid's going home every one day or two days out of the week with chronic illness or chronic sickness and the person sitting right beside them, eating the same amount of foods, breathing the same air, seems to have no problems at all and can uh, flourish and not get sick at all. So those are the questions I start to ask is, hey, in order for a person to be sick, they have to have a weak immune system and that is something that we can control. Does washing hands help? Absolutely it does. Does getting a good night's sleep? You bet you. Does eating an orange and taking in vitamin C and zinc and getting the right nutrients to, so your nervous system can thrive? Absolutely, those are all important and you should do those, right? Cleansing is is great. But you also, you can't neglect the nervous system because the nervous system and the immune system, they go hand in hand. They are married together. And when you have a nervous system that is out of balance, you're gonna get an immune system that is out of balance as well. And the nervous system, when that's out of balance, it's gonna be more focused in the fight or flight mode. And it's not necessarily going to be focused on the immune system because metab uh, metabolically speaking, the immune system takes a lot of energy to keep up, but it does if that immune system, that nervous system is definitely imbalanced as well. So um, having a balanced nervous system and having a balanced uh, immune system go hand in hand. So how do we get to that point? Well, chiropractic did it for me and it has done it for so many kids who are chronically ill that have came in here before. Um, we get that nervous system balanced through chiropractic adjustments. It's resetting the nervous system to be more balanced. So the sympathetic fight or flight is toned down and the parasympathetic rest and digest is turned up so they're nice and even. And that way they can go either way. Hey, if we need uh, um, the immune system fight off a really heavy hitter, we can do that. If we need the immune system to just you know, ward off a common cold, we can do that as well. But getting that exposure to those bugs is going to help that immune system thrive. So taking your kids and making sterile mobile biomet is actually going to weaken the nervous system. They're not gonna get sick, but when it comes time for their immune system to kick in high gear, they're not gonna have what it takes because they haven't been exposed. They haven't built their immune system muscle per se. And so when we have those exposures, our immune system can develop for those and become stronger. But if our nervous system is so much stronger, hey, some kids it's just, I'm a little extra tired today. Other kids are, I'm down for three days. So, and that can happen over a period of six months or three months, every other week, it's like they're sick and they're eating antibiotics uh, like candy. So I do hope this was helpful for you. I do hope that there are some parents that are thinking, boy, like it is getting close to cold and flu season and I don't want to repeat of last year. So what are we going to do to keep our kids healthy? Definitely, I would love to hear from you. I would like to help you so your child doesn't have to suffer. They're uh, in school all the time rather than being homesick, and it helps you out that way too. Hey, I am Dr. Randy Wirtz in Thrive Chiropractic. Take care. God bless. Let me know how I can help. Bye-bye.